station and we're watching a police lineup. That is, uh, you're watching it, I'm in it. <laughs> We're not being arrested by the police, I'm a salesman for the Thackeray Realty Company. Uh, Mr. Thackeray is the criminal standing next to me. The lady criminal is Aunt Polly. This afternoon, not one of us had contemplated a life of crime. I was in my office talking to a customer on the phone. M Mr. Murdoch, believe me, believe me, you, you can't go wrong with this. Oh, no, sir. No, 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 look, where else can you rent a fine old 15-room mansion completely furnished for only $500 a month? Y yes. Mr. Murdoch, look, look. Yes, I realize it is a lot of money, but please keep in mind, this house is in one of Pasadena's finest neighborhoods. Yes, sir. Oh, no, 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 sir. No, this, this house has belonged to one family ever since it was built. That's, that's what makes it different. Uh-huh. Oh, Mr. Mur Murdoch, look, I'm sorry. This is more than a house. Look, you, you've got to look at it like this. It's, it's a home. It has a history. Yes, sir. Good. Well, well fine. Well, why do you think it over? I'll be right on. Yeah. Good, goodbye, Mr. Murray. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, Julie, um, I'm on my way to Pasadena. I have a hot prospect for the old factory man, sir. Oh, wonderful, Bob. That place has been a white elephant on our rental list for years. Yeah, it sure has. I never could figure out why Mr. Thackeray hung on to it after he'd moved out. Well, I certainly hope I can put the deal over. Oh, you will. Just turn on that bean blossom charm. Madam, may I interest you in a white elephant? You may. Thank you, madam. You'll take the house? Uh-uh. The white elephant. Keep your fingers crossed, Julie. I'll be back in the sign. Good luck. Elephant boy. Sharp girl, and keep your ears open. This is a place of business. I'm very sorry. Is there something I can do for you? A desk lamp. What's it doing on in the daytime? Well, I... I Turn it off! Electricity costs money. <laughs> Where's that scatterbrained nephew of mine? Oh, you're Bob's aunt. I'm Willis's aunt. Oh, Mr. Thackeray's. Where is he? Willis! <laughs> Where are you? isn't here right now. Might have known. I'm his Aunt Polly. What's your name, girl? Julie Marshall. Julie Marshall. Mm -hmm. I like you, girl. <laughs> that Willis hasn't changed a bit. I suppose he's out lollygagging with some, some flapper. Well, I'm sure you'll be back soon. <laughs> it better. Aspirin. Vitamin pills. More vitamin pills. More aspirin, just as I thought business is terrible. <laughs> All he does is take pills. Holy smoke, what kind of these? Oh, they're golf balls. Yes, you see, Mr. Thackeray has to go out and play golf with clients occasionally. And that's what he tells you. He still thinks he's Bobby Jones. Well, I don't know Mr. Thackeray as well as you do, of course. But I do know he's built up a very successful business here. Well, if he's done so well, why hasn't he paid me back? I put up the money to start this company. Anything in particular you're looking for? Not looking for anything, just nosy. <laughs> that Willis. Here I come to see him all the way from Florida, and he's out gallivanting around. Well, maybe he didn't know you were coming. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Well, maybe you're right. 
If he'd known I was on the way, he'd be in Seattle by now. <laughs> Boy, I never did have any backbone. <laughs> hey, you, come in here. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. Young man, do you always go around spying on people? Who are you, anyway? Uh, this no. is Mr. Bean Blossom. He's one of our best salesmen. Bob, this is Miss Thackeray, Polly Thackeray. How do you do? Polly Thackeray? Oh, you're Mr. Thackeray's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Bean Blossom, I like you. With that line, you could sell water wings to Gertrude Eddley. I'm his aunt. Oh, I, I'm very happy to know you, Miss Thackeray. You look like a real salesman to me, son. I can see that you're the real reason that this business hasn't gone to pot. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I, I did manage to negotiate a pretty big lease today. Knew it. All business. I can tell your desk drawers wouldn't be all filled up with golf balls. I want to see your office. Y yes. All right. Um, just <laughs> right here. Well, where is it? Oh, yes. It's right over here, Miss Thackeray. Right here. Jehoshaphat. Looks like the rumor seat of a Stutz Bearcat. I always knew that Willis was an income poop, but I never dreamed he had a cruel streak. Oh, well, I don't mind. It's plenty big enough for me. Come in here, Bean Blossom. Well, don't stand there gaping. Get busy, girl. Have a look around, son. It's all yours. All mine. But, but what, what about Mr. Thackeray? Stop arguing. Nobody ever argues with me. Willis can have his desk over there in the corner. It'll teach him a lesson. <laughs> well, I think I should sound a note of warning. Uh, Mr. Thackeray isn't going to like this. Matter of fact, he may even get a little nasty. He wouldn't dare. What? No. Call me Aunt Polly. What's your first name, Bean Blossom? It's Robert. Uh -huh. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I think I'd better get back. Sit down, Robert. When I'm here, I'm boss. Well, what do you want? Excuse me, but Mr. Thackeray's just parking in front of the office. Good! Sit right where you are, Robert. <laughs> Don't tell him I'm here. I don't want to surprise him. Shh. Afternoon, Julie. Looks like a great day for a game of golf. <laughs> I uh, just stopped by for my uh, club. It's too bad you have so much work to do, Mr. Thackeray. <laughs> Never let work interfere with pleasure, Julie. <laughs> want to try out some of those new balls I bought. Bean Boss, what are you doing in here? Yeah, I beg pardon, Miss Thackeray. I said, what are you doing in here? Oh, it's orders. Orders? Yes, this happens to be my office now. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Excuse me. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Your office? Bean Blossom, get out. Yes. Sit down, Robert. Bean Blossom, I said. <laughs> Hello, Willis. Welcome back, Aunt Polly. Don't you want to put down your golf sticks, nephew, dear? This is your place of business, or don't you remember? You, you're looking fine, Aunt Polly. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Once a playboy, always a playboy. Say, have you still got that floor-length raccoon coat? Oh, I haven't had it for years, Aunt Polly. <laughs> <laughs> that coat. You should have seen him doing the Charleston in it. He looked like an alley cat on a pogo stick. <laughs> alley cat on a pogo stick. Alley cat on a pogo <laughs> Well, well it's, it's been nice knowing you, Miss Thackeray. Sit down. Oh, yes, ma'am. Robert, I have big plans for you. Get some paper. I want you to make some notes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, center drawer, Bob <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Dog balls all over the place. No wonder the business is going downhill frittering away all your time on a golf course. Write that down. Yes. Now, Aunt Polly, I don't spend all my time on the golf course. Course not. The rest of the time you're playing mahjong with flappers. At that? Yeah, I got that mahjong with flappers. Now, wait a minute, Aunt Polly. We turned a very nice profit last year. A nice profit? I've got your last year's statement. My, where's my purse? Oh, I think you left it in on Julie's desk. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm not ready for the wheelchair yet. And while I'm gone, you better think of some good excuses. <laughs> what do you think of her, Bobble? 
Well, I think she's very nice, Mr. Thackeray, but she doesn't seem to like you very much, does she? Oh, that's just the way she talks. Oh. I've been able to whirl her right around my little finger for years. Now, I've got an idea that'll have her eating out of my hand. You just watch the old master oh, go to work. Oh, what an actor you are, Mr. Thackeray. <laughs> Pretending to be so scared, too. Yeah. Family pride, that's her weakness. <laughs> so I'll just ask her to move in with me during your stay. Oh, fine. Well, she, she'll like your new apartment. No, 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 no. The old family mansion, Pasadena. Thank heaven we've never been able to rent it. She'd skin me a lot. <laughs> Must have left it in here. Oh, well, I can decide what to do about the business while I'm in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Miss Thacker, could I... Hi. San Francisco? You going to San Francisco? Oh, that's, that's wonderful. I can drive you to the station. Are you all packed? Now, just a minute, Bob. Must you leave immediately? I was hoping you'd stay overnight with oh, me at the old... Well, I'm going up there to do some research work on your great-grandfather Thaddeus. But I guess a day one way or the other won't matter. Great-grandfather Thaddeus. My favorite ancestor. Mr. Thackeray, could I speak to you for just a moment, please? He built the old mansion in Pasadena, Bob. That's why I've never been able to tear myself away from it. Family pride, you know. Mr. Thackeray. That's the first sensible thing you've said yet. Mr. Thackeray, could I talk to you for just a moment? What uh, sort of research are you doing, Aunt Polly? Well, I just found out that your great-grandfather Thaddeus was a pretty important figure in this state. Mr. When I get back, I may decide to turn the old mansion into a historical shrine. A wonderful idea. Even though it would break my heart to move away. Aunt Polly, you must stay over so that we can talk about it. I could... But only for one night. Then it's settled. Mr. Thackeray. Just a moment, Bob. Yes. I've got to stop by the Historical Society for a few hours. You pick me up around dinner time. Yes, Aunt Molly. Thackeray. Not you, him. Oh. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Robert. Well, thank you. You're a clean, living, energetic young man. Thank you. Give the boy a raise. We can't afford it, Aunt Polly. Oh, yes, we can. I just cut you a salary. <laughs> Mr. Thackeray. I wonder what she found out about great-grandfather Thaddeus that makes him so important. Mr. Thackeray, please. All right, Robert, what's on your mind? Aunt Polly can't stay over. She just can't, that's all. Bob, if Aunt Polly wants to spend one night with me at the old ancestral home, she... Why can't you? Because I rented it. That's why I rented it. You rented it? Yes, sir. To, to Mr. and Mrs. Murdoch. Here's the check and the lease. All signed, sir. <laughs> well, don't, don't be like that, Mr. Thackeray. Say something. <laughs> if she finds out that I rented the old ancestral home, she'll fire me. But before she fires me, I'll fire you, you understand? Okay, well, I don't think we have to worry about that. See, as I, I'm as clean living and energetic as she thinks I am, well, I'm bound to think of something. Well, start thinking! Yes, sir. <laughs> well, do you think it will work? Mr. Thackeray, believe me, I don't think it can miss. Now, look, listen again carefully. We put the Murdochs in the hotel overnight. Now, you and Aunt Polly move into the old mansion. In the morning, she goes to San Francisco, and the Murdochs move back. It's as simple as that, sir. We'll try it. Good. But the Murdochs may not want to be inconvenienced. Don't you worry about that, sir. I'll convince them. Nice couple, huh? They don't come any nicer. Class, breeding distinction. It's really a shame to take advantage of them. <laughs> but I'll do it. Well, I'll be calling you, Miss Beck. <laughs> How's the track? 17. Slow it down a little. We'll never be able to open tonight, honey. There's too much to do. So we open tomorrow night. I got a hunch we're gonna be here for a long time. Six months lease in the most respectable old mansion in Pasadena. What a setup. 13. No, it's too slow. Once more. What about that real estate man, honey? You think maybe he suspected anything? Oh, relax, baby. Mr. Bean Blossom went for our little story, hook, line, and lease. 15? 15. Now we're in business. Bring on the sucker. Louie? He's still downtown with the boys. Get it. Well, it's Mr. Bean Blossom. Oh, yes, Mrs. Murdoch. I'm sorry to trouble you, but might I speak to you and Mr. Murdoch for a few moments? It's very important. Of course. Do come in. Oh, thank you very much, Mrs. Murdoch. Darling, it's a charming young man from the real estate office. How are you, Mr. Oh, very Bean nice Blossom. to see you again, Mr. Murdoch. Don't tell me something's gone wrong with our lease. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, that is why I'm here. What do you mean? Well, well, I know this is an imposition, but as I said to Mr. Thacker, you're such a very nice couple, so charming and all that, I, I didn't think you'd mind. Y you wouldn't mind, would you? Mind what? 
Oh, yes, I didn't tell you. Uh, you wouldn't mind moving out? Moving out? Well, yes. But really, Mr. Bean Blossom, we just moved in. We're hardly in fact. Oh, it's it just for one night, you see. One night? Yeah, you see, uh, Mr. Thackeray, well, Mr. Thackeray's my boss at Thackeray Realty Company. Uh, he has an Aunt Polly Thackeray, and, well, in a way, she's sort of his boss, too. And, uh, well, this is his house. It's not exactly his house. It's sort of her house. But, well, you see, um, originally, great-grandfather Thaddeus Thackeray owned the... Um, <laughs> perhaps I better start from the beginning again, eh? Please do, Mr. Bean Blossom. And slower. Slower, yes. Uh, well, I'll put it this way. You see, um, Mr. Thackeray has Aunt Polly in town. Bean Blossom, what the devil are you talking about? The Murdochs are not old friends of mine. I never met them in my life. Oh, yes, you have, Mr. Thackeray. Look, you, you've known them for years and years. Now, now, just listen carefully. This is Mr. Murdoch's idea. Yeah, now, instead of their moving into a hotel overnight, they're going to stay right there in the old family mansion and pretend to be your house guest. Yes, sir, that's right. Uh-huh. And then you and Aunt Polly can take over your old rooms for the night. Yeah. Well, I must say the Murdochs are most accommodating. Uh, what time are you picking up Aunt Polly? Oh, I think I can have her over there around 7 each day, and then you could just sort of casually drift in a little later. Yeah. All right, Mr. Thackeray. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Julie! Yes, Mr. Thackeray? Uh, Julie, call up my lawyer and tell him to forget about breaking that Murdoch lease. Oh, and Julie. Yes, sir? Remind me to uh, give Bean Blossom a bonus. What he's doing for me, words alone can never repay. <laughs> Louie hasn't called. Well, I'll give him time, honey. You don't buy crap tables at the corner drugstore. Yeah. Nervous, kid? I don't like the idea of Thackeray and that old lady spending the night here. Well, the best cover-up we could have. Respectable real estate man, respectable old lady. Respectable Murdochs? This is going to be the most respectable gambling house in town. Here they come. I just know you're going to like the Murdoch's Aunt Polly. He went to college with Mr. Thackeray. Oh, the place hasn't changed a bit. Good for another hundred years. No, that's wonderful. Oh, hold it, son. Folks don't ring their own doorbells. Oh. <laughs> Anybody home? Aunt Polly, this is Mrs. Murdoch. Oh, this is a pleasure, Miss Thackeray. Willis has told us so many nice things about you. Don't believe a word of me. Never was any good at lying. Same whole tree you used as a girl. <laughs> well, 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 first time in 50 years. <laughs> well, uh, Aunt Polly, I'd like you to know uh, Mr. Murdoch. Hi. What's all this luggage doing in my living room? Oh, they're ours, Miss Thackeray. They just arrived. Well, get them upstairs where they belong. <laughs> you old walrus, you. Now, there was a man. My great-grandfather Thaddeus. See any resemblance between him and Willis? Well, the moustache. What are you talking about? Willis doesn't have a moustache. Well, that's what he means, you see. Except for the moustache, there is quite a resemblance. <laughs> but he doesn't have Willis's nose, either. No, no, no. Well, except for the nose and the moustache, they, they do look quite a bit alike, eh, Mr. Murdoch? <laughs> Don't look at all alike. How long have you folks known Willis? Five. Ten years. Well, that's, that's 15 years altogether, you see. Oh, the door. That must be Mr. Thackeray. I'll, I'll see. Hi, Bobo. Great to be home. How are things going? Uh, not so good, Mr. Thackeray. If Aunt Polly doesn't go upstairs, then you're in trouble. If I'm in trouble, you're in trouble. Don't ever forget that. Uh, what are their first names? Oh, uh, uh, she's Stanley. He's Francis. <laughs> no, 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 she, she's Francis. He's Stanley. Pick this up on one of my trips to England. Do you like it? It's beautiful. It's yours. Oh, thank you. Stanley, old boy. How are you? And Francis. Well, how are you getting along with Aunt Polly? Well, she's perfectly charming. Oh, so you finally got home, eh, hot shot? What did you do, stop off at some roadhouse? Oh. <laughs> Willis, I like you, Frank. I knew you would. As a matter of fact, I just had an idea. I'll get it. <laughs> Hello? Who is it? <laughs> Sorry, Buster, but you got the wrong number. <laughs> Louis, somebody about selling some tables. Now, uh, where was I? You were saying... That I know what I was saying. I'm going to postpone my trip to San Francisco. Postpone your trip to... Yeah, I'm going to throw a big party here instead. A real shindig. Have the mayor here and maybe even the governor. Sound good? Why, yes. I only hope we can stay over. I'm afraid we can't, dear. You'll stay over and like it. Come on, Robert. Let's take a look at my room upstairs. 
them and get those things unpacked. There are plenty of clothes closets around here. <laughs> oh, Willis. I'm afraid you're going to have to make other arrangements about Aunt Polly. Well, if I have her away for the weekend... Our agreement was for one night. We're going to hold you to it. All right, I'll see what I can do. Okay, mastermind. What do I wear for the governor's ball? Oh, shut up. I'm thinking. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, Louis. Yeah. There's our answer. The cops have been tipped off and they're going to raid the joint. No, forget that stuff. Out the back way. Well, what about them? Let the governor bail them out. <laughs> well, we just have to explain to the Murdochs. If she won't budge, she won't budge. Oh, I'm sure they'll understand, Mr. Stagger. They're, they're a lovely, uh... Well, they're gone. Gone? Mr. Murdoch? Maybe they've gone up to unpack. No, their bags are still here. Oh, that's funny. I wonder where they went. <laughs> seven. Pardon? <laughs> oh, nothing. Dice. I just threw it seven. Where'd you get those? Right here on the table. On the table. Oh. oh, yes, of course. My old Pachisi set. You know, this place is just loaded with relics. I shot seven, too. Well, you know, maybe they went out to dinner. You'd, you'd think they'd unpack first, though, wouldn't you? Another seven. Bubble, if these weren't mine, I'd swear they were loaded. <laughs> Mr. Thackeray, did I happen to mention what business Mr. Murdoch's in? Seven. Uh, no, Bubble, why? Well, I think he's in the toy business. I certainly hope he's in the toy business. That's a roulette wheel. Yes, it is. And those are crooked dice. Yes, sir, they are. Bob, these people are professional gamblers. I'm afraid so, sir. Yeah, hello? Julie? Bob, now listen carefully. Mr. Thackeray's lawyer just called. The Murdochs are running a gambling house, and the police are going to raid the place at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Julie, it's almost 8 o'clock now. Yeah, goodbye. Well, what is it? What's the matter? The police are going to be a raid any minute. A raid? Yeah. Jump into your house. The back way. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. Well, as well, those friends of yours, we thought we'd have a little game of pinochle. We were just coming up to get you, Aunt Polly. Get her things, Bob. What's all this nonsense? Bob has got three tickets for a party. <laughs> and we, uh, we uh, don't want to miss the curtain. No, we don't want to miss the curtain. See, if we miss the curtain, we might as well stay at home. We don't want to stay at home, do we? Well, certainly we want to stay at home. Aunt Polly, we won't take no for an answer. Well, let go of me. I'm not touching. Oh, that's my insurance man. If we let him in, we we'll never get out of here. The back way. The back way. Oh, now he's out back. Boy, he certainly gets around. The window. The window. Come on, out, Bobby. You love this place. Oh, what's wonderful. 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 Wonder